because all the rye grass is just, it's, you, you're making the roots of your blueberry go into competition. There's warfare going on between your blueberry roots and the, and the rye grass roots. And who's winning? The rye grass, which is the, oops, let's, we got to change that all around and get that fungal dominance going. And so we might as well have something like that chamomile that is right balanced with bacteria fungi. And so at least we're not setting up a warfare situation in the soil. Mm -hmm. And hopefully then your blueberry will be able to win that competition if we keep pushing fungal um, biomass under, in there. And the roots of the blueberry should be going much, much deeper than the roots of any of the clover or the grasses or the other cute um, herbaceous perennials that we've got in there. And it gives the blueberry this huge resource of soil to expand into where nobody's competing with it. But you have to get rid of the compaction. The roots of blueberry should not be going down just this far. Um, okay, you going down that far. Okay. Is it, is some of the blueberry growers in the United States is they've fixed the soil and those roots start going down deep. Some of them are telling me that the roots of the blueberry are down at 10 meters. And if you get your roots down that deep, who cares what kind of drought you have in the summertime? <laughs> Not a concern anymore. So you get a few weeds up on the surface of the soil. Eh, no big deal. The blueberry's going to win. If we can get the mycorrhizal colonization on the root systems of those blueberries, the blueberries will force colonization of the mycorrhizal fungi on the weeds and then suck the nutrients out of the weeds. And there's been a couple of recent publications on that where they're showing that that's what these mycorrhizal plants are doing on the weeds. And so your weeds are all sick, the weeds are wilty, they're the unhappy ones. They're providing nutrients for your blueberry. We just, it's, you know, we just have to set up that system so it's functioning and it's working. So here we are at the initial stages where we've got to do the conversion and we just have to do the testing to make sure as we're trying to do these things that it's actually getting in your soil and, and getting established and going. And we're not doing anything to put the biology in there and then pow, whack in at one. No herbicides, please. No sulfur. No phosphate fertilizers. Unless you're really losing your plants. You know, so there might be some places where we're putting the biology in, we measure, it's not getting established. And that might be, okay, you're going to have to use the chemicals until we can get this established. Especially this time of year, we're at the end of the growing season. This is a perfect time to get the biology established in the soil. Because while the plants aren't really doing much, these organisms are just going to be going gangbusters in the soil.